It's a new test delivered in a discreet box directly to your home. How would you say this impacted your life, getting this test? It saved my life. In good health, cancer screening tests are often uncomfortable or inconvenient, but that should not keep people from getting tested. Because they're so important. And Dr. McGeorge is here with a new test that can be done in the privacy of your own home to detect colon cancer using advanced DNA analysis. Here's the test, and inside the box are a few things. There's a sturdy pail, a special swab, and of course some preservative. Now given that we're screening for colon cancer, you might have a guess at what you do with them. The details may seem awkward, but if the other option is a colonoscopy, well, this doesn't look so bad. 80-year-old Mel Burley admits he avoided having a colonoscopy for decades. If the opportunity uh, was there, I didn't pay any attention to it. We recommend starting with some colon check at age 50, and that can include colonoscopy, stool tests for blood, or DNA tests of the stool. That's a slew of options, but Dr. Craig Reichert, colon rectal surgeon at Henry Ford Hospital, says one stands out. The test that we think is most effective is the colonoscopy. That lets you check the entire colon uh, lining for polyps and remove them at the same time. Well, let's just say Mel wasn't excited about the prospect of a colonoscopy. So his doctor suggested the newest option, the stool DNA test. I'm pretty comfortable uh, recommending it to people who absolutely refuse to get a colonoscopy for whatever reason, despite my best sale uh, <laughs> speech. But this test isn't for everyone. It's a much better test for average risk people who, for whatever reason, can't be a good candidate for colonoscopy. So the DNA test is not a good test for people who've had polyps before or who have that high risk group, so family history. Mel was a good candidate, and his doctor ordered the test. <laughs> Box came in the mail, opened it up, followed the instructions, deposited a sample, sealed it up the same way, and sent it back postage prepaid. And that was the hardest part of the whole test, I thought, was uh, finding the right place to mail it back. Here's how simple it is. You open the box, set the pail holder over your toilet bowl, place the collection pail, deposit your specimen, scrape it, cover it with the preservative, Seal it back up and send it back. It was in the privacy of your own home. The lab does the rest and you get a result in a week or two. The advantage of that test is that we actually check the stool for DNA from cells that are the precancerous or cancerous kind of cells. So it's much more specific for colon cancer. I flunked the test. And that is it showed a positive problem in there and I should have a full colonoscopy. How would you say this impacted your life, getting this test? It saved my life. That's because it led him to the colonoscopy he needed. Was it as bad as you had thought? The colonoscopy, colonoscopy was bad. The preps are terrible. <laughs> On colonoscopy, multiple concerning polyps were found, and he had surgery to safely remove all the concerning areas. The surgeon indicated to me that, and I think he waited this way, he says, you're that close ripening into cancer. Now because the Cologuard test is so new, it's not covered by all insurances, so you might want to check that first since it can cost over $600. Now finally, I really want to reemphasize that while this is better than just putting your head in the sand and ignoring colon cancer, the best test is still a colonoscopy. Back to you. But for those people that, like he said, he didn't like the prep work to sure. do the regular colonoscopy, something like that is good. But wise advice there. Still do something. That's